All right. Yeah, disappointing loss. Guys played hard, but um, didn't didn't get a, some offense going there for quite a while. Couldn't convert uh, some third downs and got behind chains. And defensively, kind of battled pretty good, but gave up a couple big runs. And got to let them get in the end zone. Thought the guys fought hard, but disappointing. You know, Purdue played well and got us and in the season here, one eleven. So pretty disappointing. So that's about it. What did the refs explain to you on that interception there in the fourth quarter? Uh, just it wasn't a reviewable. My, my comment was that uh, we caught it and we were on the ground and then it got taken away and we were down. But they said the way it was called, it wasn't reviewable. And uh, there's some dynamics and they were all as a group and they were, you know, pretty, you know, set on it. And I didn't question that. And so it, it was, was what it was. So. so they didn't give you a reason why it wasn't reviewable. They didn't say that. Uh, just I think there's certain dynamics and calls that, you know, I mean, they have significant guidelines, and that's been hit pretty hard. And I didn't question those guys at all on that. And when they said that again, you know, my thought was that, um, you know, that we we had it on the ground and got taken away. And they said, well, no, that's that's not the way that it can be. Or you know, you can review it, wasn't caught, whatever. And I said, no, it's not the case. So, you know, and those guys are going to work with you because they don't want you to burn a timeout. And so it was a good deal. You know, we had you know the, the, that crowd's a great you know heck of a referee crew. So this is what it was. Yes, when it's you made the comment earlier in the year that you know this team seems to start well. Like, like you, you emphasize starting well and finishing well, not necessarily saying anything in the middle. Uh, does this does that kind of performance speak to like mental fatigue? Uh, just or, you know not knowing what kind of performance to put out there, or like what what's that all about? Like how they play in the middle of the game? Uh, I don't know. I mean, against execution, and we can overthink and make it too hard. Uh, I don't know if it's fatigue if you come back and play well at the end, because if you're fatigued, I don't know how you you know you know refurbish yourself. So. Uh, whether it's just the inability to adjust, make the adjustments you need to, uh, anticipate and play calling or scheme adjustment or players, anticipate the adjustments and executing them. Uh, but bottom line, there's, you know, we've yet to play, um, you know, with our crowd, really, really clean. It's hard, but play really clean, consistent. We've had spurts, some nice starts or nice whatever along the way or nice on either side of the ball, but collectively put it together in all three phases. Today, in the first half, we kick it out of bounds, give it to them the 40, and let them run one back to the 10. There's, there's 10 of their points right there off of two bad kickoffs. And so we couldn't afford to do that. So we can blame the defense, but we put a, you know, our kick cover team hurt us in the first half significantly. So there's all kind of dynamics. I don't know if that makes it a mental fatigue when a guy, a kicker that's doing three times a game, kicks it out of bounds. I don't know if that's fatigue other than just a missed kick. How much, how, how much, how much work do you feel your defense needs to, to become better and competitive next oh, year? Oh, a whole lot. I mean, size, strength. Uh, schematically, again, looking at what we're doing, understanding uh, uh, adjustments, whether it be in our, our concepts or, or how to understand our coverages. I mean, one of the last plays of the game didn't mean to, but one of the guys trying to look and communicate getting the call is a little late getting lined up and gets cut off. No one of the big plays, one of those plays that got their first down at the end. So, uh, and I don't think to the naked eye that was a noticeable mistake. But to me, the guy's a half account count late getting there because he's a little late communicating, lining up. So, but uh, skill wise, size, size wise, you know, we'll hit uh, without wearing our guys out. You know, everybody's going to be in bowl games except us, it seems like. So we're going to start Monday working hard in, in, in the weight room to start gaining some strength and size and see if we can go through the Christmas break with the cycle and then do it again in the winter because we need to take some guys with our strength level and improve our strength. So that's, that's to me outside of recruiting, outside of looking at adjustments, outside of teaching or learning what we're doing just physically. We, with our young players, we need to physically mature and get a heck of a lot stronger. In terms, guys, in terms of the inside run game, kind of taking away Quan short. I mean, what what was working, I guess, when you guys were running it up inside with the zone read and all that? Uh, again, we just uh, you know decent blocking. Maybe those guys not executed clean. Then as you go along, they start closing down, making you pull, making making you pull it out. You know, with some of that read stuff. So, um, bottom line, just a couple hit, hit quick, and from there they made their adjustments, started closing on the dive back, making Trey keep it. So, kind of went from there. Is that kind of why Steven didn't get the ball more? I mean, he finished with like seven carries for 129. Was that just they took that part of the read away yeah. and it was for, just treated for training? To, to some degree. I mean, there's different plays and different reads. When I say reads, there's we have probably three or four different schemes where they're not all exactly the same, where the quarterback has the right to give it or pull it. Uh, but a couple of those plays that hit early, those quick hitters, they started really crashing down, making you pull it. Now, he could have become the pitch guy, and you could take it the other way, but that didn't happen. One win on the season. A lot of struggles this year. Do you credit this maybe as just taking over a program and how difficult it is to, to maybe rebuild? Uh, I think as much as anything. And again, we, we, you know, we'll, you know, one, you know, have a much better, much better gauge on our players' strengths and weaknesses, what to do. 
Uh, but but I always look at coaches, what we can do. And, again, we just didn't do a good job, I think, anticipating and knowledge of, of what maybe our guys can and can't do, putting them in good situations, doing a better job, I think, of connecting and getting our guys to trust us, believe in us as we're moving forward. So, um, again, those seniors, though, again, we've, you know, you know, we kind of close those practices. If you watch this practice, not to give you coach speak, but our guys competing a nice way in practice. They've had a good attitude. They came out today, battled their tails off. There was not a lot of negativity. Just we came up short a few times. And when you're in some games that are close and short, I always start with me as a coach and us as a staff. What are we doing schematically in calls? What are we doing personnel, putting guys in the right places, making sure we're getting right touches, whatever, making sure we're doing things protection you can block, making sure if we're blitzing we can get home, making sure if we're playing man-to-man -man, we can cover that guy. There's all kind of things. And that being said, I mean, to me, the critical deal of improvement is what I need to do in our, in our coaches. Our players have got to work hard. We've got to do a great job recruiting to complement a lot of guys coming back. But the real deal is we as coaches. We have got to, to connect better, anticipate better, and I think be a better prepared team. In terms of Stevens kind of, I guess, in the Big Ten season, his performance and his sort of breakout, I mean, is there maybe a desire moving forward to, to get him more dedicated touches, not reads, but, but I mean, plays that are dedicated? Well, it's hard if you don't have a fullback. You know, when you don't have, unless you just want to run away from the tight end all day. I mean, if you, when you spread it out, you know, I mean, you know, you got you got blocked that they they can actually mathematically put more up there than than, than you than you have blockers. So if you don't incorporate your quarterback as a part of what's going on, and it's not like Trey pulling out is not a bad choice. So, um, but again, Stevens played well. Although again, I think the last couple weeks he's he's got around here. Every time somebody does, in my experience, short term, I shouldn't say that, in my short term experience here, when a player does reasonably okay, all of a sudden we talk about how well he's doing, and we never get to what we're capable of being because of the entitlement and the semi-arrogance that an average player gets when he plays pretty good. And that being said, it's keeping guys like him grounded, saying, hey, if you want to be a great player, you repeat it over and over. And you do it in the winter. And, and that's a young man that's going to be one of our leaders. He's behind the scenes, has done a nice job. If, I mean, he's got some good values. And not that I'm voting for him for captain of our team, but I like him. He's about the right stuff. Yes, we need to give him touches. We need to find a fullback to do that a little bit too. And we'll keep moving forward with what we're doing. The offense started getting moving late in the game. Was that more schematic or was that more players just executing better? Uh, you know, we popped the run on third down. They kind of got it down there and kind of, I think they were a little tired and hit a couple runs quick and, 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 and stuck one in there. Uh, I think it's really just that one big run by Steven on third down. Where I don't know. You know I kind of thought we got, we were going to go for it on fourth down. I felt where we were at that amount of time. Um, um, and again, like I say, even you, know, you look at it, you know, the, you know, we, 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 we hold them uh, to the end. They kick it to the one. We come back to the next drive, punch it across midfield. I mean, there was a lot of fight in those guys. And, um, again, uh, what happened that one drive, bottom line, Steven, like that first drive, he popped the run. He popped the run on third down. They go, they were playing pass coverage. They didn't fit the run right. We kind of got lucky and guessed right and popped one. With all, yeah. With all the freshmen that you did play this year, what do you feel the benefit was from them getting some experience? And how tangible can that turn into – quality play next year? Well, if they play the same, you'll get the same results. Hopefully, though, they'll be smart enough to realize by playing their deficiencies and what they need to work on. That Do I lack strength and size? Do I have knowledge to be a capable quality player? And so, you know, you saw us in coverage a couple of times. I ain't in great position, but not able to make the play on the ball. And it's kind of hard to maybe cover better than you were. And just not being able to connect as you play and play through that, those guys will. You hope, need to. But again, just because you, just because you play as a young guy, don't mean you're going to be better as you move forward unless they use the that as motivation, use that as a learning tool, use that as a learning advice. Because again, if we stay the way we, we are, keep the same mindset, the same approach, we'll get the same results. So that being said, we're trying to challenge our young players to, to just how to approach their business, how to do things off the field, on the field, weight room, study, how to live their lives in a, in a confident way and start flipping around. But um, like the young guys, like a lot of those redshirt guys, got a nice crowd of sophomores. You know, I think you got, what, 32 uh, redshirt freshmen. That doesn't count. Colin Roark and Isaiah Roundtree that we like in, the, in those classes that are walk-ons. You got six, seven guys redshirting. You're going to sign 27. You got a nice core to build with. But we got to keep that core pointed. And that needs to be led by a Bolzer, Kofi Hughes, Adam Rapogel, Larry Black, Will Maddy. Some of those guys need to come to the front and lead us in a great way. One more for Coach. Just to piggyback on that point, what have you seen from the guys this season that gives you not just confidence but excitement heading into next season? Well, I, I again, I start with me. So what, what, what I see with them is that, that I myself have to do a lot better job 
and what we're doing off off the field behind the scenes and building chemistry and, and some and some and some team love and unity and how to respect each other and trust each other moving forward. So, you know, again, I, I, I like their mindset, their attitude. They know what they know. Uh, it is a young crowd, but I'm just telling you, just because they played as young, that doesn't mean the future's bright. The future's bright if we can keep them channeled, keep them pouring the right direction, back it up with another good recruiting class. And we, as we said, we owe it to those seniors because those guys leaving here didn't sign up for this. This is not what they, that's not what they bought into. It's not what they signed up for when they came here. And that being said, though, they've guys that worked awfully hard, and we owe it to those guys as they move forward to be good Hoosiers for us on and off the field as they live their lives. And we owe it to them to keep showing that we can build it because they're a part of what we started. Got a long way to go, a bunch of young guys, but young guys that we have to keep pointing in the right direction. And that's difficult. That's easier said than done. All right, guys.